Hey guys, Slazarus here, and today we'll be talking about the four reasons on why your aquarium shrimp may be dying. So this is a very common and annoying problem with lots of shrimp keepers out there, especially for beginners. So I'll try to make this video as informative as possible, and without any further ado, let's get started. So the first reason, and it's probably the most common out there, is that you didn't introduce them properly to your aquarium. So it's a very common situation, and shrimp are actually a bit more, let's say, fragile than fish. So especially when introducing them to new aquariums, it's really important that you either do the drip acclimation, where you let the new aquarium water drip into the shrimp's fish bag, or you can also float them on the water for about a day and add a cup of water every hour besides when you're asleep. Give those methods a go and good luck. So the second reason is that your aquarium water might not be right. So it's super common and shrimp are actually quite fussy with their water parameters. So there's shrimp that like the higher pHs or the lower pHs. So make sure you do your research with your shrimp. It's the most important part of keeping these little critters. But just make sure though that your water parameters are right, as I said before. And make sure when you're adding new water to your tank that you're not putting any chloramines or chlorines into your aquarium water. As the shrimp are really sensitive to chlorines, so if they do have any chlorine in the water then they will stress out a lot so you don't want that to happen and they'll easily die due to that so that's another reason so make sure you're always adding api stress coat plus or secum prime to your aquarium when putting new water into your tank so the third reason could be because your filter is too strong for shrimp shrimp aren't the strongest swimmers and you need to make sure you have a slow intake filter, make sure it's small too. Because shrimp are small, at least most are, so they'll easily get sucked up by the filter. And that's probably the, one of the main reasons why your shrimp are disappearing. So make sure your filter is either a sponge or box filter, one that has a small intake and is very slow. Because if you have a really strong one, then it can easily suck up the shrimp and they'll all disappear. So you don't want that to happen. So for the best results, I recommend sponge or box filters and give them a go. See if your shrimp aren't disappearing anymore. Okay, so the final reason could be that your fish are eating your shrimp. So it's a really, really annoying thing. So if you have fish with your shrimp, then fish are probably gonna eat the shrimp depending on the size. So I recommend only nano fish with shrimp, but there's a lot of lists of videos out there tell you the tank mates for shrimp. So definitely take a look into that and see what you think, but they just they get eaten easily as they're not the quickest compared to the fish and the fish have really big mouths too depending on the type so i recommend fish with small mouths and nice peaceful ones too but for the best results you can have some really big fish just as long as you've got lots of hiding places throughout the tank so have a really nice heavily planted aquarium and then they'll be super happy and they'll have all those little places to hide in so they'll have shelter and they'll easily get away from predators in that sense so if you do have a little bit of those larger fish with your shrimp add a heap more plants to the tank and rocks and all those sort of hiding places and your shrimp will be so much happier and there'll be a much higher survival rate for your shrimp this is now the end of the video i, I really appreciate you all watching and i hope you all have a great day if you haven't already please subscribe and leave a like down below comment something positive down below and i'll see you all in the next video